this is that which was spoken this is the pattern how the Holy Ghost does things wouldn't it be good to know how the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today does things if you can learn how he does things you can get in agreement with him and have him do things for you when you start enjoying speaking in other tongues that's when things come to you so listen you have to love speaking in other tongues let's pray Holy Ghost I thank you that you are God in the earth today I worship you I praise you in Jesus name I thank you that in the name of Jesus in the earth we walk with you by saying words I thank you that you're doing things for people here in this room and people online great things shall come to pass says the Spirit of the Lord as you listen and let my words sink down into your innermost being that's where they take place that's where they begin to bear fruit and they shall grow up and you shall be great in the kingdom if you go with my plan we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen, amen. hallelujah we receive with with meekness the Bible says the engrafted word see we engraft the word into ourselves and it begins to bear fruit people are like ah, you're not bearing fruit well you can't bear fruit by yourself you have to have the word in you and the word is what bears fruit you see yes. mm -hmm. we're like the soil how many of you've heard of that mm -hmm. the soil is our heart well soil doesn't bear fruit how much fruit do you get out of soil not much it's just it's either good soil or bad soil mm -hmm. what bears fruit is the word that's sown in it you see yes. and so how much word you have in you is how much you're able to bear fruit Does this make sense yeah. right. to me it's very that's a very satisfying thing because I know that I don't have to be the greatest thing in the world I just have to be good dirt Amen. right that's right good soil and then the word will produce itself in me every time therefore the pressure isn't on me to produce fruit I put the pressure on the the seed the word and that produces the fruit well if you know how to do that and we do here we put pressure on the seed by saying it say I put pressure, I put pressure on, the on the seed by saying it by saying and what produces the fruit the seed the word produces the fruit and it will produce itself say it will produce, it will produce itself, itself in, my life. in my life what does you because you're so special no you're not special you know nobody wants to hear that in churches I wish they would hear more of that because you know they come in oh you're special God loves you God loves you I guess you're special but the fact is what's special is the word and if you'll just receive the word it will make you extra special it'll make you as special as the word is are you here yes. it's not about you we always say it's about me no it's not about you it's about how much word you have and if you're failing listen if you're failing in any way it's because of your lack of the scripture on the inside of you growing up bearing fruit you know how many people don't want to hear that that's the fact if you need well if you need he I need healing what do you need then you need the word concerning healing right I need prosperity what do you need you need the word in you that will produce prosperity mm -hmm. third John and let's look at verse 2 beloved who's that yes. that's you yeah beloved I wish or pray some people's Bibles in the margin says pray I wish or pray above all things so he's wishing he's praying above all things are you here yes. meaning it takes first priority above all things that thou mayest prosper are you here yes what's God's will for you God's wish for you God's prayer for you I wish I had it written somewhere in black and white what is it God's will for you is that you number one prosper Amen. are you here well who is God let me ask you that well the Holy Ghost is God the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today mm -hmm. right the Father's in heaven nobody will 
argue with that where's the father in he's in heaven where's Jesus Jesus is right beside him at his right hand and they sent the Holy Ghost into the earth on the day of Pentecost where is he now the Holy Ghost is in the earth where are you you're in the earth so we're talking about God the Holy Ghost who's in the earth are you here beloved I wish above all things and this is God's wish God's will God's prayer for you above all things right that you mayest prosper is it God's will for you to prosper yes. yeah you gotta you gotta get gotta get over that hurdle in your head God wants you to pro say God, God wants me, wants me to, prosper. to prosper say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is God is he's in the earth he's and he wants me to prosper, to prosper. Above, all things. above all things right yes. Amen. and yeah. and be in health because if you're prospering and you're not in health what good is it yeah. we've all known and heard of people like that they got all the money in the world but they can't get out of bed what good is it right, right? they would trade all the money in the world to get out of bed <laughs> right so he wants you to not only prosper first and foremost and be in health don't leave the ands out are you here so we're talking about the Holy Ghost you understand you know I'm gonna talk about the Holy Ghost yes. right why wouldn't I he's God in the earth he's the one I should be talking about mm -hmm. who did Jesus talk about when he said the Spirit of the Lord is upon me he's anointed who Jesus first sermon and I'm convinced he preached that everywhere he went he said the Spirit of the Lord it was the first thing he said out of his mouth first words Jesus preached out of his mouth the Spirit of the Lord is on me he has anointed me to preach right yeah. this is in his word this is his Bible I wish and pray above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health what are the next few words here even as or to the same degree are you here yeah. that thy soul prospers so God the Holy Ghost method to get prosperity and health over to you is to prosper your soul or your mind or your inner man you understand yes. well if it is his will which we can see here mm -hmm. it's his will that you prosper above all things prosper and be in health and we have the Holy Ghost who comes into the earth he had to come into the earth with his will intact you understand he had to know what he was doing when he came into the earth are you still here yes. he come up with some new plan when he got here no he had the plan and he came into the earth are you here and he came into the earth with his will for you to prosper and be in health what did he have you do when he came into the earth speak with other tongues as he gave you utterance his will above all things is that you prosper and be in health and for his method to have that happen in you and for you was first and foremost to be able to speak as he gives you utterance well if you know anything about the Holy Ghost how does he do anything how does he do anything in the earth he has to have words spoken how does he do anything for you he has to have words spoken for you and who better to speak words for you than you yes. where's who's the closest the closest mouth to you <laughs> be mine. Uh, it's your mouth right yeah. usually you know like about an inch below your nose so God's method to get his first and foremost will across to you prosperity and health and prospering the soul is for you to speak his words and we know the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words and some of the words that we say are in other tongues it was the first thing that he had people do do you understand this yes. well, you preach on speaking in tongues all the time yes I do why because it's very important we're in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost and it's the first thing he chose to do he could have chosen anything to do but he didn't he chose that method so there must be some reason behind it some purpose behind it other than just to be a sign he could have had any sign mm -hmm. right? right but he didn't he said so we'd use our will to speak his words and keep doing it they began say they began, they began. 
that wasn't the end it was the beginning of believers speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost as he gives them utterance and it continues today and you can do it right now and it's going to continue until we're out of here so his will for you is to prosper and be in health you're gonna be have to be in prosperity and in health how am I gonna get in you got to get into it how is it our soul prospering how are we gonna prosper how are we gonna have our soul prosper we're gonna be in agreement with the Holy Ghost and speak in other tongues which has something to do with our soul prospering so we have not been using tongues I'll just say it that we've not been using speaking in tongues the way we should have can you see that that the Holy Ghost his will is that you prosper and be in health but we've not been using our ability to speak with other tongues as he gives us utterance in the way that we should now I'm not rebuking you unless you feel like you you should be rebuked I'm talking to myself too because I've had a lot of revelation this week over this where we need to be you know how many of us you know us Pentecostals you could say we think oh well I speak in tongues I've spoken in tongues a lot I must know they're all there is to know about it well that's just stupid and that's arrogant there's so much that we need to keep going and learning our soul can prosper through this Jude verse 20 but you you still here mm -hmm. beloved look at that he used the word beloved again remember in third epistle of John he said beloved must be talking to you but you beloved what building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost now because this is in your Bible is it possible that you could possibly be on your most holy faith without this no. it's not he, he's giving you an indication here of what it's gonna take for you to get on your most holy faith your best place your what is in one of the best places would be that you'd prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers right but here he's saying you can't get there you can't get there without praying in the Holy Ghost and we know what that means right mm -hmm. praying in other tongues as the Spirit gives you utterance though it's not even available without it you can't get there and how many people are trying to get there without it lots of people mm -hmm. I'm just telling you you can't get there without it so you're gonna have to learn how to use your prayer language you're speaking in tongues mm -hmm. better we've not been using it the way we should Matthew chapter 25 we'll just look at I won't read this whole parable this is the Lord Jesus speaking and uh, verse 21 his Lord said unto him well done thou good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things other translations say a little thing you understand you have been faithful over little I will make thee ruler over much so what is the key to being ruler over much being faithful over little you understand so whatever the little thing is that he gave you to do if you're faithful over that he'll use that to make you ruler over much now James 3 5 I guess I will just quote that James 3 5 says the tongue is a little member are you faithful over the tongues the little member that the Holy Ghost gave you what does he give you on the day of Pentecost or when you received him the ability to speak with other tongues the tongue is little but speaking in tongues is no small thing do you understand what if I told you that what you desire of God requires large say large large amounts of time in the spirit or praying in the spirit or speaking in other tongues what if I told you that what you desire 
and what you desire of God requires large amounts of time let's get because you sit here and you go okay oh I really desire this of God and then I come up and I tell you what if I told you that that thing that you desire requires large amounts of time say large amounts of time large amounts of time praying in the spirit or speaking in other tongues do you understand well what are you gonna do about it well I guess I won't get that I guess I won't go there what if I told you that what you desire of God requires large amounts of time praying in the spirit speaking in other tongues fellowshipping we're gonna talk about some of this fellowshipping with the Holy Ghost communicating with the Holy Ghost communication is a two-way street right communicate being transformed by him are you here yes. being taught by him being built up by him built into what you need to be what if i told you it's going to require large amounts of time because the fact is you must be changed we want god to change our circumstances when the reality is he changes you and then the circumstances become irrelevant he prospers you and your circumstances change he heals you and the sickness leaves you change do you understand but what if somebody came and said it's going to require large amounts of time to be transformed and changed by fellowshipping communicating and being transformed and taught by the Holy Ghost he got he's got to teach you things that you just don't get right now can you imagine that that you don't get something I'm surprised we've made it this far with all the stupid things we didn't get you understand but now we're getting things that and it requires time it, and what's it require it doesn't require time for him he could zap you in a sec it requires time for you to change to be able to hear it remember Jesus said I have many things I can say to you but you can't bear it now why because they hadn't changed enough to bear it Paul said the same thing I can't speak unto you as to mature people I got to speak to you like you're a bunch of babies what if I told you that what you desire of God requires large amounts of time praying in the Holy Ghost what if you were called to go there there what do you mean there there that place in the spirit where you're changed that place in the spirit where he does things for you that place in the spirit where you communicate with him and you're transformed from glory to glory what if I told you that you are called to go there and remember requires large amounts of time to go there what if you were called to go there and then he can ask what would that produce in your life we know what it would produce it would produce all the blessings of God we underestimate the amount of time required that it takes to change we wish it took like that you know we just hey I just changed boom bam boom you want somebody to come up lay hands on it you know I tell you, I bump into people all the time like this online they want me to pray for them they want me to you know do something and that and they think that's just gonna fix everything the fact is it you know we do have a fix it's the word in them and spending time in the Holy Ghost but what God's gonna do is change them there's nothing that can't happen for you and in your life and in the world around you if you will change but people don't want to hear that they want God to fix the circumstance God to fix whatever it is you know it needs fixing you need fixing are you here yes. say I need fixing I need fixing. right and when you get that straight then you can spend time in his presence and guess what he's gonna do he's gonna fix you and then the circumstance changes well that's the game that's the game we're in a lot of people don't want to know that about the game they want to go to church and have the circumstance change they want to get in the prayer line and have the the situation change mm -hmm. little do they know that God wants to change them and then all of that other stuff takes place are you here yes. we underestimate the amount of time it takes to be changed but that's the game you change and then nothing's impossible unto you people want God to change the circumstances but all the time he's trying to change them he's trying to change you Does this make sense mm -hmm. then the circumstance just takes care of itself we all know this if we had the faith and we could you know speak to the mountain and do all these things that we talk about and you know then then that's 
then the is the mountain a problem is the sickness a problem is the loan a problem or is any are any of these things a problem absolutely not what's the problem me is the problem and getting me into that place of belief me into the spirit by speaking in other tongues takes care of the problem of the problem is irrelevant are you here say the problem, the problem. is irrelevant, is irrelevant. When, I when I am changed see we go from glory to glory to glory and then more problems become irrelevant i can't tell you the amount of people in the body of christ who don't want to hear that but that's the truth is this exciting well, I don't know you're telling me that I got to change you know that's been part of the my ministry from the beginning is you have to change is God gonna change no. he don't change none guess who changes you do and our approach to him and the way we meet up with him changes mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2 remember you know and, and, and look it up at verse verse 4 Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and the Holy Ghost came in and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and the very next thing it says when they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak mm -hmm. with other tongues as the Spirit gave them, gave them utterance what was the first thing that the Holy Ghost enabled people to do when he came into the earth was be able to speak as he gives them utterance Acts chapter 2 verse 16 but there's Peter talking here he says but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel this is that meaning there was a manifestation listen to this there was a manifestation this is that manifestation this is the thing that was spoken how did this get into the earth how did this that that happened get into the earth by it by being spoken a prophet was moved by the Holy Ghost and spoke spoke this that into the earth sounds like the Holy Ghost to me doesn't it mm -hmm. that's how God does everything he must have words spoken in the earth this was that mm -hmm. which was spoken it never would have happened if it wasn't was spoken first you think the Holy Ghost is gonna change no this is the way he's always done things this is the way he's gonna do things in your life he will have things spoken and they will come to pass this is that which was spoken this is the pattern how the Holy Ghost does things wouldn't it be good to know how the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today does things if you can learn how he does things you can get in agreement with him and have him do things for you or you can buck the system and just have something happen maybe happen stance but this is that which was spoken that's the pattern of how the Holy Ghost does things the thing was spoken first say the thing Thing. was, was spoken, spoken first well what if you have things that you desire of God what's gonna have to happen first they're gonna have to be spoken first and what's one way that we can speak them forth is by speaking in agreement with him by speaking in other tongues now the Holy Ghost does nothing without was spoken he does nothing zero things for you or anybody else without it having been spoken first so the key is to having do things that's the whole point of why we're here is to have the Holy Ghost do things for us well we need to speak as he gives us utterance then he can do those things Holy Ghost does nothing without was spoken where's was was is in the past and it requires time to spend speaking those things so that it could be was spoken I hope I'm making sense I am now right right now right here in this, this circle I am now that which was spoken I shall be that which I'm speaking now in agreement with the Holy Ghost 
are you here yes how am I gonna prosper and be in health even as my soul prospers by speaking and I can be that which I've spoken mm -hmm. Is this making sense yes. can you see why speaking in tongues is so vital it's such a big deal to the Holy Ghost and it's so important that we're faithful over the little thing which in it is it's a very small thing for us we just need to spend the time saying those syllables he, he'll continue to give you those words you just got to keep saying them but like I said I think we underestimate the amount of time that it takes for us to speak him but I am now that which was spoken predominantly by me you understand in tongues so speaking in the spirit speaking in other tongues just like Jude said building up building you're being built into something something on your most holy faith speaking in the Holy Ghost praying in other tongues mm -hmm. time spent in the spirit is really really important are you here yes. even as your soul prospers this is God's method to prosper your soul this is God's method to get things over to you and the more time you spend the more things you can have Does this make sense yes. getting when you're in the spirit you are getting to know the real you and I don't know if I can get this across to people I remember being years ago when I had started spending more and more time praying in the Holy Ghost I remember walking across the floor in this this place we were at I walked back and forth and I'd pray in other tongues and I'm praying other tongues usually for hours say hours. hours what was I doing I was spending the time I was putting in the time right and as I was woke and I, all of a sudden the, the realization just dropped on me it came over me that's the real me this is my real language this is my native tongue this is who I am why because I'm the guy in the spirit what you see on the outside is just a bunch of outside stuff that's after the fact the real you is spirit say the real me real is me. spirit does the real you have a problem with healing or health no does the real you have a problem with prosperity and wealth no, no the real you that's the real you and it takes time to get to know yourself it took me time to get there well it takes time to get there but that's the real you you're thinking you're talking in your native language the Bible says he as a man thinks in his heart so is he where in his heart in his spirit man well you're speaking from your spirit man you're speaking from your spirit man you're speaking from your spirit man until all of a sudden that's your natural language mm -hmm. you're speaking from your spirit man that's your natural is that too difficult to understand <laughs> that's the real you so it's not just what we that's you know it's not what we look like on the outside is good looking as we are say as good looking as, good looking. as we are yeah. that's not the real you the real you is, is even better looking God said to me this week he said you know you need to spend more time praying in the Holy Ghost how many people online you need to hear this you need to speak in tongues more you know a lot of people don't know why they should be speaking in tongues but they need to more Hebrews chapter 13 let's look at verse 6 boldly speak the Lord is my helper what are we boldly saying that the Lord is my helper now can we boldly say that in some other way than just our regular English now who's the Lord the Holy Ghost is the Lord so when I'm boldly speaking in tongues I'm literally saying the Lord is my helper bold are you getting this yes he's our helper he's our comforter have you heard that yes. what's another word for comforter helper we're gonna boldly say the Lord is my helper we're boldly saying something John chapter 16 in verse 7 nevertheless I tell you the truth it's expedient for you that I go away that's Jesus talking if I don't go away the comforter 
will not come unto you now the word comforter here again some people have over in their margin it will say the paraclete or the comforter the counselor Schofield Bible lists them all out the comforter the counselor the helper the intercessor the advocate the standby who is this he's the Holy Ghost when do you suppose the Holy Ghost does the helping when you speak he doesn't do anything unless words are spoken when you speak in tongues as he gives you utterance he's helping you he's comforting you he's counseling you he's interceding for you he's standing by you he's advocating for you are you here when I speak in tongues I am saying the Lord is my helper now the paraclete that's the Greek word literally means one called alongside to help the Lord is my helper he's called alongside called alongside who does the calling you do the calling how are you calling him by speaking in other tongues say when I speak in other tongues I'm calling for the Holy Ghost the Holy to help me. help me are you getting this yes. well brother I need help uh, I need help with my car payment what are you gonna do yes you can call your car payment paid but what else are you gonna do you're gonna speak in other tongues if you speak in other tongues he will help you with your car payment are you here I need wisdom I need to know what to do what, what are you gonna do he's the comforter he's the counselor when does he comfort when does he counsel when you speak in other tongues he begins to counsel he begins to comfort I need healing well that's good Holy Ghost he's a healer by the way when does he do the healing when you speak in other tongues you need to speak in tongues more isn't that fun you need to speak in tongues more I'm gonna tell you it's one of the greatest joys of my life I love the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues is one of the greatest joys of my can you get joy from speaking in other tongues and having the Holy Ghost help you yes the kingdom of God is in righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost are you here yes. one of the greatest joys of my life is in speaking with other tongues a lot I love the Holy Ghost and when I speak in tongues well I'm communicating with God the Holy Ghost you understand that mm -hmm. is there any benefit to that yes. yeah well let's look at this let's go to first Corinthians first Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 2 for he that speaks in an unknown tongue who's that that's you that's me I am he that speaks in an unknown tongue right speaks not unto men but unto God who am I speaking to when I speak in other tongues who am I communicating with that's even a better way to say it I'm communicating with the Holy Ghost It's one of the greatest joys of my life to know that I can speak in tongues and communicate effectively with him and he's also communicating with me because it's a two-way communication he that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men but unto God for no man understands him how be it in the spirit he speaks or communicates mysteries now we wouldn't have a problem with this if you had two two people let's say you know two girls they're sitting in class and they're telling secrets to each other what is that that's a mystery to everybody else around because they don't know what they're whispering about mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. but they're communicating a mystery they're communicating a secret one of the greatest joys of my life is praying in other tongues and having the Holy Ghost communicate with me secrets and I can communicate with him things that I'm dealing with 
in the spirit are you here yes. isn't this great we get well what I don't know what to do I don't know what to do I need help with what do I do I speak and I communicate with him in the spirit and I know that he communicates back with me is this is this any good yes. it's a two-way communication you're not only just speaking let's read that again he that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men but unto God for no man understands him how be it in the spirit he speaks mysteries and the mystery is being transferred from one to the other you're communicating secrets that's an, another translation says that secrets intimate secrets there's a supernatural transaction that takes place I wish I could get this across to people but time and time and time and time and time and time again I'll be praying in the Holy Ghost say he'll be praying in the Holy Ghost, he'll be in the Holy Ghost. and the Holy Ghost will communicate something to me that took care of a problem I don't even know really what he said it was even a mystery to my mind but I knew that something happened there was a transaction that took place not just me saying things to him but him speaking things to me and guess what happens when he speaks something to you it comes to pass yes. are you here yes. well you're still there in first Corinthians right 14 look down here at verse 18 I thank my God who is his God who is God in the earth today Holy Ghost I thank the Holy Ghost I love the Holy Ghost I'm so appreciative to the Holy Ghost I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all why because he likes to do it it's just it's a fun thing to do no it's because there's a communication that takes place there's a transaction say transaction. transaction there's a transaction that takes place where he does things for you puts things in you and what do you do you thank God I thank God I speak in tongues more than you all I love the Holy Ghost he could have said that I love the Holy Ghost more than you all because I speak in tongues more than you all I'm communicating with him more than you all I'm having that intimate fellowship with him more than you all you have to please hear this you have to love speaking in other tongues you have to love speaking in other tongues say I have to love, have to love speaking, in other speaking in other tongues if you don't you're not doing it right you, you got to come to that place where you go I love doing this yeah it doesn't mean you want to do it all the time but you love it sometimes you have to force yourself to do something until you enjoy it it's kind of like exercise you ever exercise and you know and you're like ah, I don't want to exercise most people are like that I don't want to exercise but after you do it you feel better and after you do it again you feel better and after you do it again feel better and actually you know on a third or fourth time then you come back from that and you go man I love this I love this what you, but you had to push through the phase where you didn't want to do it and you didn't love it so listen you have to love speaking in other tongues if you don't love it you're not doing it right which means you got to keep pressing in until you do love it you make yourself do it until you do enjoy it I enjoy speaking with other tongues why because I found the benefit of it and I get good at it you can get better at it are you here when you start enjoying the speaking in other tongues that's when things come to you listen when you start enjoying speaking in other tongues that's when things come to you when you start enjoying speaking in other tongues that's when things come to you remember this is the Holy Ghost's idea I didn't come up with it nobody else came up with it it was the Holy Ghost's idea when I go into the earth he says I will give them the ability to speak in agreement with me that was the plan that's how he's gonna get all the things over to you that's how you're gonna have intimate fellowship with him That's how you're gonna to get to know each other Isaiah 48 17 
thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer the Holy One of Israel I am the Lord thy God which teaches thee what do we know about the Holy Ghost he's the teacher he's gonna teach you to profit and lead you by the way that you should go how's he gonna do it how's he gonna do it you say by speaking in other tongues he had to fulfill this scripture when he came on the day of Pentecost that's the first thing he had them do as you speak in other tongues he teaches you he leads you he teaches you to profit he leads you by the way that you should go how by speaking the Holy Ghost teaches you when you're speaking in other tongues first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 13 which things also we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but words that the Holy Ghost teaches does it say the Holy Ghost teaches yes. how's he teaches how's he teach by speaking words which words also we speak when we're speaking the Holy Ghost is instructing you the Holy Ghost is teaching you teaching you to profit leading you by the way that you should go which things also we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches go up to verse 12 it says now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God which things we speak how are we speaking it we're speaking those things in other tongues how am I gonna have the things in my life I'm gonna to have to speak them out in other tongues how does the Holy Ghost do anything in the earth he has to have words spoken how's he gonna get his words spoken out of your mouth he's gonna give you the ability to speak with other tongues as he gives you utterance yes. glory be to God forever first Timothy chapter 6 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but trust in the living God who's the living God the Holy Ghost. how does the Holy Ghost do things words. by words predominantly having you speak the words right the Holy Ghost the trust in have faith in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy how do you suppose the Holy Ghost is going to give you richly all things to enjoy he's gonna to have to have you speak words right and what kind of words is he gonna have you speak so that you have richly all things to enjoy he's gonna have you speak in other tongues remember so that you can prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers he prospers your soul while you're speaking in tongues because he's teaching you while you're speaking in other tongues are you getting this yes we've not put enough emphasis on speaking in tongues we've not put enough emphasis on speaking in other tongues and we haven't put this put the right uh, we haven't put it in the right position or place and we haven't been using them the way we should is there any benefit in speaking with other tongues yeah is there any benefit in enjoying the speaking in, I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all while I am speaking in other tongues he's causing all things to work together for good Romans chapter 8 when I'm speaking in other tongues I'm calling and all things work together for good for me it's the same thing it's the same mechanism it's the same way it's why the Holy Ghost did this when he came into the earth we need to use it say I, I need, to use need to use speaking in tongues speaking in more, tongues. more in, my life. in my life Holy Ghost of God in the earth today Holy Ghost of God